Today we're going to make the quintessential Bond cocktail, the Kangaroo Kicker, erroneously known as the Vodka Martini. For this drink, you're going to need a coupe glass, a graduated double jigger, a vegetable peeler, a Hawthorne strainer, a fine mesh strainer, a cocktail shaker, and optionally, a cutting board and a small knife. This drink uses vodka, dry vermouth, and a lemon peel for garnish. By virtue of its ingredients, this drink should be stirred over ice and strained into a chilled cocktail glass like a dry martini. But since this is being made the Bond way, we'll honor his request to shake and not stir. I like using strong vodka. Today's standard for vodka is 80 proof, like most other spirits. But like most other spirits, in Bond's day they were higher proof. So I like using Stoli 100, but any 100 proof vodka will do. Before we go any further, let's get something straight. This one may look like a martini and quack like a martini, but it ain't a martini. It's a kangaroo kicker. The kangaroo, or kangaroo kicker, has been hijacked by pop culture and is most often referred to as a vodka martini. There's no such thing as a vodka martini. The kangaroo was rebranded to allude to the more famous drink, the dry martini. But the vodka martini won the PR battle, and for several decades the word martini was mistakenly used to refer to this drink, the kangaroo kicker. The abbreviation martini should only refer to a dry martini, which consists of gin, dry vermouth, bitters, and a lemon peel. A kangaroo kicker is vodka, dry vermouth, and a lemon peel. However, it was Ian Fleming and James Bond who were largely responsible for this confusion. The Bond movies have made this the quintessential Bond cocktail and were responsible for making it a signifier of gentlemanly behavior and sophisticated taste. Bond, however, tended to do things for show. He was a spy, and he often played different characters. Bond drank a lot of different drinks, but often, when alone, Bond would drink whiskey highballs or vodka tonics. He would ask for certain drinks in public to help create a certain image. His irreverent behavior and daringness set the tone for everyone around him. That's why he ordered such a unique drink in Casino Royale, a modified dry martini that became the iconic cocktail, the Vesper. This may be part of the reason he asked for a little over half of his martinis to be made with vodka and to be shaken, not stirred. At the time, that was a startling request and one that would get people's attention or put them off guard. The Kangaroo is a fine drink. It's stiff and bold. It was originally made at a two to one ratio, but Bond once specified that it be made at six to one. In the book Live and Let Die, his love interest Solitaire serves him his drink, but is totally unsure of herself and is worried that six to one is too strong. For my tastes, she's right. It leaves too much of an acrid, burning aftertaste that's characteristic of straight vodka. I prefer it at three to one but don't let me stop you from making it the way Bond did. We'll start by chilling our glass, fill it with ice, and set it aside. Next, we're gonna measure an ounce and a half of vodka, add that to the mixing glass, measure half an ounce of dry vermouth, add that to the mixing glass, add ice, and because it's Bond's catchphrase, we're gonna serve it shaken, not stirred. You'll wanna shake this one for a good 30 to 40 seconds. You really wanna make it ice cold and give it a little dilution. Dump the ice from your coupe glass, then double strain the contents of your shaker into your chilled coupe glass. The fine mesh strainer will help collect all the little ice chips and help give the drink a cleaner appearance. Next, cut a large slice of lemon peel, being careful not to cut into the white pith. And because this is a Bond cocktail, we're gonna clean up the edges of our lemon twist. This is strictly for presentation's sake. Express the oils of your lemon twist over the drink, rub it along the rim of your glass, and drop it in for garnish. And there it is, the famous shaken not stirred cocktail, the kangaroo kicker, mistakenly referred to by Fleming, Bond, and almost everyone else as a vodka martini. Enjoy. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.